All right, boys and girls, so you should have just gotten done listening to the book, The Mitten. So now we're gonna make our own mitten. All right, you should have, for this activity, crayons, um, your watercolor, some water to go with the watercolor, paintbrush. Um, I don't have a mat. If you are working on a surface that cannot get paint on it, you should have a mat. And you're probably gonna need a little help from an adult at first, um, and that's gonna be with using the marker. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hand down here, and this is where your, your adult might need to help you. Trace your hand, but not trace it like, not tracing it like a turkey, tracing it like a mitten. There's our mitten. Okay, so first I want you to use your crayons. And since we've been talking about patterns, I would like you to make a pattern on your mitten. Okay, so I'm going to, you can choose as many colors as you want. Um, I am going to pick out a couple. All right, so I'm gonna do some dots with my blue. Kind of make them a little, push down a little hard to make them kind of dark. And then I'm gonna do a zigzag with my yellow. And then I'm going to do more dots. like it's coming off the edge a little bit. And then I'm gonna make more zigzags. And then another row of dots. See how it's a pattern? This one is a B pattern because it's dots Squiggles, dots, squiggles, dots, and then you can guess what's next are the squiggles. Back to some dots. Sorry if this is a little wiggly video since I'm pushing down pretty hard on my paper here. at the edge. All right, so I'm going to make the end of this mitten turn into a different pattern of just squiggles. This thumb's gonna have a few squiggles on it too. All right. So I'm feeling pretty happy with that right now. And now I'm going to get out my paint. Crayons to the side. You can 
see as I go over, the paint is not going to stick onto the crayon. Try to take your time and do your very best painting. If it takes you longer to stay in the lines, that's okay. And also you might choose to make two mittens because you can probably fit two mittens on one piece of paper. Miss Andy's hand is a lot bigger than yours, so. I can only put one mitt in. You also, if you're feeling really ambitious, you can let your mitten dry and then you can try cutting out your mitten. All right, friends, so there's my mitten. I look forward to seeing yours.